When the USB cable is connected and installed, the driver is included in WinXP, you will get two COM ports. Device A is the GPS delivering NMEA uh, protocol data at 38.400 kilobolts and the second one is the communication with the module CPU that is the one I will use in my uh, uh, application to set the timings this application can be run from your desktop if you know how fast your system boots and shut down but it can also be run from a laptop in your car or even on the car computer but then the application will be turned off every time you reboot the system so I recommend using a laptop the application will pull for module and, one f and when uh, I select the COM port here it will find it It will require some information from the module, like the software version and the hardware version. And uh, as I've said, this one has not got the IBUS interface. It will also read back the timings for boot time, delayed off, that is the time uh, the system will stay on after you turn the ignition off. Um, if you turn the system off with uh, ignition uh, off, you uh, will have a maximum uh, time before it shut down automatically. And there's also a setting for uh, for the shutting down time. When you've selected your uh, your timings here, you press set timing, and uh, it will be stored persistently in the module. You can erase the flash too if, if you exceeded the maximum uh, number of times that you can change the timing, which I think is something like 500 times. You can also find some more useful information here, like uh, the levels and state of the inputs. If I close 12 volts to the on button here, uh, the box will be checked. So this is not for changing anything, this is just for uh, telling you um, what your wires are, uh, that the wires are connected to the right, right thing and, and working as you're expecting it to. You can also find what state the module is in. You can also see if uh, what the state of the outputs of the module is. The USB on is checked here because I've got the USB cable connected to the module and uh, it will sense that and also uh, enable the DC-DC converter of my car. So this I cannot uh, actually test without uh, disconnecting the power inside the USB cable and I don't want to do that now. You can also generate uh, inputs event here, and that is uh, that is uh, f for me and testing purposes really. But now I can use it to show you how the system works. If I approach the car and press and uh, use my key to unlock the car, it will start booting the PC. You can see the outputs here are changing too. Now, having them set at 5 seconds here, it will instantly go into shutting down because I didn't have time to turn the ignition on. But let's say that I, I do that within 5 seconds now. It will go into on state after it's completed the booting. Uh, and you can see that the PC is turned on, the LCD panel is turned on, 
the USB DC DC converter is still on of course the camera is not on but the remote on the power amp is on so you can now listen to your music if I then turn off the system with my on off button I still have ignition on and the but the LCD panel will go off so this is just uh, it will stay on just to ensure that if you press on again it will instantly come back if I turn the ignition off now it will go into delayed off state I will have five seconds to press on again to prevent it from going turning shutting down and going off uh, so I'll do that again to show you what happens if I do uh, press on off fast enough system is on ignition off on off the state is now on with ignition off and I've set that timeout to be one minute. Well, I got a few seconds now, so I can tell you about this uh, counter here. You can uh, you uh, you can read how uh, well you get the time, <laughs> basically. So it will st zero and start over if you turn ignition on, for instance, and go into booting. And this way, you can uh, you can uh, measure the time it takes for your system to boot. Uh, this button here is very helpful then, because otherwise you wouldn't know what the system is doing um, when you're measuring the time. So if I click that one, the LCD will always be on, so you can see. Now it's delayed off the shutting down. So there I had the second choice, chance of, of prolonging it for another one minute before it shuts down. And now you can see that even though the system is off, the LCD is still on. Well, I think that's it, basically. Now there's one more little thing. You can stop the clock. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you.